Well, good morning. Good to see you this morning. And this is day 100 of our daily broadcast from Shore Hope Church for friends and family looking and join with us each day. And if you stuck with me for 100 days, well, well done you. Congratulations. Um, I don't suppose <laughs> as many, but it's it's been good to share each day during this corona crisis. And uh, it's helped to keep this all together and helped to keep that connection, I think. Uh, for those folks in Shore Hope Church and for friends and family who look in and I pray it's been a blessing to you. Um, I don't think when I started back in March, uh, it was the day that this, the Welsh school closed the school, the Welsh government closed the schools and, um, and I came home and, and just knew that this was what I was supposed to do. Um, and so <laughs> there we started something back in March, the whatever it was, 16th. Um, it's been quite a journey, isn't it? A hundred days, who'd have thought? I don't think um, I saw it going beyond three months, um, but here we are now having reached this benchmark of 100, and I'm thinking, hmm, we've got some time to go. Um, but there we go. We, we just see what God says, and uh, I trust that these recordings have, have been some help to some folks. I've had some encouraging comments back from time to time and and uh, maybe as we come to this benchmark of 100 um we will just see what uh, what god says for for where we go from here but um it's it's a journey and it's a difficult one for lots of people we've we've been thankful to god for having uh, no you know not had any anybody sick um and um it, it's it's good news um however obviously the situation is 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 difficult and particularly um for all those who are going to be struggling and made on un made uh, unemployed etc through the crisis uh and coming out the other side and of course for us as a church um when we're going to be able to meet together again um as we as we're used to and accustomed to we don't know um, I, I think it could be some time yet. Um, there's obviously some real concerns. There we go. So good to, good to have you with me. Um, and uh, we take it from here and see where we go. Um, but uh, be encouraged. And, uh, you know, if, if, if what I've shared on a particular day is an encouragement to, me, to you, let me know. Uh, that helps me as well. And uh, on Facebook, share it or whatever. Um, to get the word out and uh, because my heart is that it will the God's word will reach um, the, the lost soul who needs to know the comfort and strength that's found in 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 the Psalms of David as we've been looking at um, there's a real challenge of salvation for those who don't know the Lord Jesus like like we do and uh, pray that many will come to know him and death in this time of crisis okay so we're we're still in psalm 17 i'm just going to carry on with we started off with lord see me um and then we moved on yesterday to lord search me and particularly search my heart and uh, today i was going to move on to the next one but instead i'm, I'm just going to delay i think i'll just read the first few verses oh lord hear my plea for justice Listen to my cry for help, pay attention to my prayer, for it comes from honest lips. Declare me innocent, for you see those who do right. You have tested my thoughts and examined my heart in the night. Um, you have scrutinized me and found nothing wrong. I am determined not to sin in what I say. So we're going to just halt it there. I am determined not to sin in what I say. Mm. So, I mean, some bold words from David. I mean, first of all, he's saying that uh, Lord scrutinized scrutinize me, my heart. Um, and, you know, that's, that's a big thing to say. Um, and as you know, yesterday I was I was linking this, this psalm um, to the Bible study that we did on Wednesday night with David in, in the cave with his men and um, Saul coming into the mouth of the cave to relieve himself and David going up with his men cheering him on to cut off Saul's head if he could 
Uh, but to finish it off, finish this this ridiculous running around the desert chasing after him once and for all. Um, but no, David doesn't. He doesn't do the dastardly deed. He cuts off the, the hem of um, robe, the robe that Saul was wearing. And and he even felt guilty about that. <laughs> but um, but the point was, what was in his heart? Lord, scrutinize my heart because he did, was determined he was not going to touch or harm the Lord's anointed because that's who Saul was as the king. Um, so that was his heart being examined and scrutinized and under pressure and being encouraged to to do what his men thought was the right thing to do it was a, it was a very very courageous act on david's part to stand up for what he knew was right and uh, we pray for all those christians around the world today who were um, under pressure um, under pressure from all sorts of regimes and governments um, to, to conform or to be silent etc and they're making a stand for the gospel making a stand for what they know and believe to be true and right uh, and it's wonderful that the, the, the way the gospel spreads under such pressure that many come to know the Lord Jesus um, in China particularly by the millions um, because of under pressure under pressure well okay so today is yesterday examine my heart today is examine my mouth oh don't yes we must <laughs> yeah well we're grateful for one thing that through this lockdown that we can't go to the dentist <laughs> i'm sure you've been pleased about that <laughs> i have <laughs> so we can't go to the dentist um which is good news uh, or the only word of, of advice that's probably appropriate is um, look after your teeth because uh, when when the lockdown is lifted and the restrictions are, uh, are now be you know becoming eased eased up then then of course your dental appointment will will drop through the letterbox and you don't want to have to have a mouth a mouth full of fillings because you've um, you've let things slip um however okay that uh, that aside examine my mouth um oh lord and when he examines our mouth he's not looking at our teeth he's 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 listening to our words um <laughs> oh now david says i am determined mm. now there's a, some advice for us really we can have good intentions um to to not have foot in mouth disease today um we can we can actually make declarations like peter you know lord if everybody else denies you i i won't mm, uh, yeah well we know how that finished up um, you know before the cock crowed the next morning he denied the lord three times um and, and absolutely broke his heart and he wept bitterly it says uh, we, we, we we're all very good at making those sort of declarations i won't i shall never i will this and i won't that um well david uses the word determined it, it, it was it was something that was set in him set in his heart that um i'm that's something i will not do i lord help me to every day not fall foul of 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 sinning by what I say. Um, now, we find it difficult because of the the battle. Is it a battle? I, I, hmm. I think it's probably more appropriate for us in 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 this country to say in the heat of the moment. Um, we don't really know much about the battle. If we were in China, or we were in some, you know, Burma or North Korea. Um, some part of Pakistan, India, uh, some part of Africa, then, then yes, maybe it is a battle. Um, and it must be absolutely horrendous at times. And we, you know, we must pray for the our brothers and sisters in those parts of the world where they are in a battle. We're not in the battle, but we do have um, 
moments and we say in the heat of the moment <laughs> yeah it's not a heat of the battle for us but it's the heat of the moment where frustrations and and uh all sorts of things that that crop into our come into our mind come into our thinking and um whether it be boredom or or whether it be just um missing um missing what's what's right um um, what what we what we've grown up to expect and understand um, as to be the normal, um, everything's changed, and and so there is a challenge. There there is a uh, a sense of, and so in the heat of, in the heat of the moment, yeah, we can say all sorts of things that we we shouldn't. And David says, "I am determined not to sin by what I say." Now, right throughout the Bible, <clears throat> um, this whole James does not does not have the copyright on this. Um, it, it's it's throughout the Bible, and um, there's so many scriptures we could turn to. I mean, the Psalm that um, that made, was made famous by was it Boney M uh, back in the eighties, um, Psalm nineteen, another Psalm of David. The last verse, verse fourteen, says, "May the words of my mouth." And the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. And that's their, that's David's cry, and uh, as I say, was made famous by that song. Um, May the words of my mouth be acceptable, Lord, that they not cause offence. Um, I'm just going to have a good little challenge for you. Some from the Proverbs, the thirty-one Proverbs. Maybe over the next month, you might like to just go through one proverb every day and and just mark in your Bible every time um, Solomon talks about what you say, the words that you speak, um, because it, it, <laughs> you'll be astonished how many times it, it, it comes up. And I've just handpicked a few off, off just a, a few pages. We'll start with uh, Proverbs 10, verse 11. Uh, the words of the godly are a life-giving fountain. The words of the wicked conceal violent intention. I mean, you know, your words can be a life-giving fountain. I, I choose that. Choose that today. Be determined today that my, my words will be a life-giving fountain. Then uh, Proverbs 10, verse 31 and 32. The mouth of the godly person gives wise advice, but the tongue that deceives will be cut off. The lips of the godly speak helpful words, but the mouth of the wicked speaks perverse words. <laughs> Just brilliant, isn't it? Come on, make be determined today that the, your mouth will give wise advice, um, because you 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 run after God, God's ways, God's way of doing things, His righteousness. So therefore, your advice will be wise, and your words will be helpful words. <laughs> Proverbs 12, verse 6. Um, the words of the wicked are like a murderous ambush. Yeah, have you ever been in that place? But the words of the godly save lives. <laughs> yeah, as we've been told to, was it stay home, protect the NHS, save lives? Yeah, I remember, look. Uh, <laughs> couldn't forget, could we? We were told it every day. Well, we can save lives. We can save lives by being godly, being determined not to sin in what we say. Uh, verses 18 and 19 of Proverbs 12. Some people make cutting remarks, but the words of the wise bring healing. Truthful words stand the test of time, but lies are soon exposed. How yeah, good is this? Yeah. Uh, Proverbs 13 verse 3. Those who control their tongue will have a long life. But those who work hard, uh, sorry, um, those who control their tongue will have a long life. Opening your mouth can ruin everything. <laughs> yes, okay. Of 14 verse 3 as well. Uh, a fool's proud talk um, becomes a rod that beats him. But the words of the wise keep them safe. Then Proverbs 15, verse 2 and 4. A tongue of the wise makes knowledge appealing, 
but the mouth of a fool belches out foolishness. Okay, verse four, gentle words are a tree of life. A deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. Well, well, it just goes on and on. There are so many. And then verse 28, um, the heart of the godly thinks carefully before speaking. The mouth of the wicked overflows with the evil words. Yeah, the mouth of the godly sinks carefully before speaking. So you can see right through the book of Proverbs, um, the, the Proverbs are full of the importance of what we say. And that's that last one, 15 verse 28, the godly think carefully before speaking. Yeah, maybe we should all take that advice again today. Let's think carefully before we speak. Um, because, yeah, as James tells us, this little thing in our mouths that does so much damage. Um, once once it's said, it can't be unsaid, can it? <laughs> and uh, if you have to tell the truth, tell it in love. I, I can tell you that just very quickly, um, we're all missing McDonald's, aren't we? Well, maybe not. <laughs> a lot of people are missing mcdonald's and now that they you can go for a drive through um they've even got people on the roundabout in Abigail diverting the traffic um because the car park is full and there's no room for anybody else um so many people wanting a mcdonald's drive through but i was taught um for doing a disciplinary don't forget do it as a big mac bun meat bun okay so you want to tell somebody the truth in love you start off by giving them some bun it's something that you tell them you appreciate how good they are and in this particular area of what they need to be done and needs to be done and they, they do a good job and then comes the meat however we have a problem <laughs> and uh, this is something i need you to deal with and and draw your attention to etc and then you finish off with some more bun but i'm sure you're going to do a great job and you're going to pull through and this is going to be the start of a new blah blah okay bun meat bun you start off with the good news you give them the meat and you finish with the good news um so don't forget your big mac okay <laughs> ah, praise god um so it's been good to be with you again on our hundredth broadcast hundredth day of broadcast um, and uh, we see where God takes us. We'll continue in um, Psalm 17 again tomorrow. Uh, but be blessed in whatever you do and just be mindful as today's broadcast has been all about what we say. And uh, as David said, he was determined. And maybe that's a word to help us all. Determined to not let his mouth sin don't speak don't say it help us lord help us each one lord i pray today that we might be careful and be determined not to sin by the words of our mouth help us lord to keep a watch and a guard over our lips that we will be thoughtful before we speak and that we will bring healing and not wounding that, Lord, your name will be praised. And, and all the situations and all the, the heat of the moment situations that we face just now. Help us, Lord, to do it right. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a good day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.